welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sam and this is the third part of my bedroom makeover series. I will link part one and two down below or you might see it somewhere up here. So I just wanted to film a quick intro for you guys because at the beginning when I first started my bedroom makeover, the camera was super overexposed and the AC was running so you couldn't even understand what I was trying to say at the beginning. So let's go ahead and jump right in. <laughs> So I don't have footage of my room from before, but once I pulled out that carpet, I decided to make a video. And here it is. I spent the day before taking out the carpet and using a hammer to take off those things that hold down the carpet, those wooden things with the nails. Yeah, I have blisters all over my hands. But anyways, I'm removing everything out of the room and we'll get on with the video. inspired by this picture my sister says that's oof my sister says that is my vibe so we're gonna try and replicate that as much as possible I think what I'm gonna end up doing is putting the bed like the picture right here I'm going to be getting a king size bed. The king size bed is 76 inches across. It definitely is going to be way larger than the measurement of the window across. So there's not gonna be any room for me to have a bedside table like the one in the picture. So most likely I'm gonna have something smaller. I'm going to try and find something that will work and that I can paint black. If not, I might put the bed over here. So anyways, this is what the floor looks like but we'll just cover it and we should be good. TV's gonna have to stay there because I'm too lazy to move the whatever it's hanging on. I don't know what in the world somebody in the 70s was thinking, why these would be practical because they are too big to even like, Okay, no, I'm not gonna open this. I have the idea of putting a peel and stick wallpaper on it, so we'll see what we'll do. Yeah, this is gonna take a really long time. Wanted to invest in putting down actual floor. So we purchased some floor. And I personally really like it. I'm satisfied. If it was more brown, I would not have liked it. I want to go ahead and explain how the flooring works. So each plank has lips on two of the sides, one on the long side and one of them on the shorter side. The lips are to be used so that you can easily click it into the piece that you've already laid down. And then all you have to do is hammer it down on the edge. It basically locks it in when you hammer it down. Um, and it makes it seamless. So we're going to be going to Home Depot for the second time. My bed that I ordered, which looks like this, just came in. It came in quicker than I thought. I somehow thought that I could do everything this weekend. Wow, that looks so pretty. So I'm at Home Depot for the second time. Today we're gonna get the quarter round for the side next to the door. There's a crack right there, which I'll show you. It's about an inch wide. And we might pick out some paint. Last time I picked a white paint, my kitchen looked like an insane asylum. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're gonna get that fixed today. Oh, oh, Sam. I don't want it to hit other cars. Sticking out like two feet. If it pokes somebody in the eye, what are we gonna do? We're gonna be sued. Okay, so it's been a couple of days, actually probably like two weeks since the floor has been finished. I've been to Home Depot two other times. You guys, it's super hot every day. So what I needed to get was Paint. I know I probably should have painted the walls before I got the floor. 
I've already painted a little bit of this wall, so you can probably see this one, definitely. But you can't really see this one as much, but I definitely like this color. Yes, they're white, I know. I'm gonna start painting, you guys. some new sheets on my bed but today we have a couple of things to do obviously to clean up this mess and then we're also going to tackle these closet doors I wanted to include this part only because as an average person it does take a very long time to get your room or to decorate in general it takes money and it takes time and I don't want you guys to think I just did it all in one day obviously you can tell I didn't do it in one day because I'm wearing different clothes every single time you see me anyways we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby so that we can tackle these closet doors when we get back I will clean up and do those last few things <laughs> came across a problem. I'm here at Hobby Lobby looking at fabrics. I forgot to measure the closet. So I'm gonna have to guesstimate and see what will happen. A lot of the ones that are wide enough, they're ugly. Okay, so I think I resolved our issue. So even though we didn't measure, a lot of these fabrics are double wrapped. So where does it put? Does it have a cheetah on it? <laughs> you don't like this one? No. Oh, well, this was my other option. This one's better. Except I don't like the flamingo. I didn't really like the flamingo either, but I like the colors on it. Unless we just go with simple. Yeah. Bubba, ring the bell for service. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> saw was me fitting up these nice beautiful closets and while we we're away I filmed another video that you can watch on my channel I furniture flipped some furniture but also it's cold outside it's no longer hot I didn't think a whole season would get here before I was done 
Anyways, another thing that you didn't see last week was that I ordered ceiling hooks. I was very excited because then I could finally finish this entire room when I realized I only ordered one. So here we are at Home Depot. Apparently no one's orders got put in there. I think she likes the new room. You're sleepy, right? I'll let you go back to sleep. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process. Um, it really took me a long time from August to October. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you want to see more. I plan to do more room makeovers and more furniture flipping. Thank you so much for watching and bye.